हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द आईओटी कोर्स बाय थिंक आईओटी सॉल्यूशंस सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट द कोर्स लेट अस लुक एट व्हाट आर द आईओटी प्रोडक्ट्स दैट आर अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट हाउ दिस इंडस्ट्री इज गोइंग टू ग्रो इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव टू टेन इयर्स एंड व्हाट आर द करियर अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन दिस पर्टिकुलर फील्ड एंड वॉट विल बी द कोर्स कंटेंट्स ऑफ दिस होल आई कोर्स सो स्टार्टिंग विद द आई ओ टी प्रोडक्ट्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन द फ्यू वाइडली अवेलेबल प्रोडक्ट्स इन द मार्केट सो द फर्स्ट प्रोडक्ट आउट ऑफ दैट इज द वाई फाई बेस्ड लाइट बल्ब एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट इज अवेलेबल ऑन लॉट ऑफ ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म्स एज वेल एज ऑन द ऑफलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म सो यूल बी एबल टू कनेक्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर डिवाइस विथ योर वाई फाई एंड देन यूल बी एबल टू स्विच इट ऑन एंड स्विच इट ऑफ यूजिंग अ मोबाइल ऐप सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू ऑल्सो हैव सर्टन ऑप्शन वेर यू कैन कंट्रोल द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर लाइट एंड यू कैन चेंज द कलर ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर लाइट बल्ब एंड ऑल दिस थिंग कैन बी डन थ्रू योर ऐप द अदर फीचर दैट दे आर अलाउिंग इज द यूज ऑफ द वॉइस असिस्टेंट दैट इज द गूगल मिनी और द एमेजॉन एलेक्सा एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो कंट्रोल ऑल दीज ऑप्शन यूजिंग जस्ट अ वॉइस कमांड सो दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट प्रोडक्ट that we just wanted to list out here in order to uh, make you understand that these kind of products can be created uh, as an into end application using the contents of this particular course the next product that we have listed here is the smart bag uh, so this particular uh, product comes with a lot of variations so in some of the products you can uh, have like a robotic application where the bag will automatically move Uh, from one place to another place and uh, without any need to pull the bag uh, some of the bags have got the automatic uh, uh, tracking system so you can directly uh, get to know the location of the bag and uh, if you uh, if you are in an airport or if you are in a crowded place where you might have misplaced your bag then you can easily find out using a particular app so these are some of the options that you get in a smart bag and uh, coming to the next product is the nest thermostat so basically uh, this product also controls the temperature in your home and uh, it is like a learning thermostat that is uh, it follows the patterns uh, and makes you comfortable uh, in a particular house it 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 knows like which temperature to set at what time and uh, this particular company has been taken over by google so now these products are coming under the google nest tag The next product that we have listed here is the Wi-Fi enabled uh, moisture measuring device. So you can measure the moisture and you can also measure the temperature on the surface of the leaves. So basically, uh, if you can see this image, it has got three different uh, uh, moisture sensor placed at three different depths, and from which you can get the moisture readings. And you also have uh, a particular sensor to measure the temperature of the particular surface, or you can also measure the temperature on the Uh, leaves so basically uh, these particular products can be placed in bulk quantities uh, in the whole farm and uh, you will be able to get the readings of uh, the moisture levels that are present in your uh, in the entire area so these are few products that are there in the market and uh, coming to the next set of products so uh, again this is one of the product that can be used in in the gardening applications so uh this is like an automatically moving robot and uh, which has got a uh, which has got a blade in front and which can cut the grass for you so basically it's a lawn mower and uh, this particular product is useful in gardening applications in maintaining a proper height of the grass and uh, once it starts automatically it sort of covers the whole area and it uh, it cuts the grass for you so uh, in, instead of uh, Uh, employing someone uh, in order to use for such applications we'll be able to use automated devices uh, which can do the uh, work for us the next application that we are going to uh, look at is the amazon alexa so basically this application is like a uh, it's a voice assistant and also it can give you lots of information uh, like extracting it from the internet so this has become a really a uh, helpful device and uh, it can play you songs it can do lot of other things it can give you the temperature readings of a particular place so all that can be done using an amazon alexa the next product that we are going to take a look at is the mi camera so basically this is a security camera with which you can do live streaming uh, and uh, you will be able to store that data in the sd card but along with that 
uh, you also get an option of a motion detector that is uh, uh, if you don't want a 24 hour surveillance then you can just store those clips uh, where the camera has detected motion and this particular thing is done inbuilt by this camera so uh, you can just view those clippings where it has detected motion and you can see if anyone has entered into your premises. Uh, then there is a list of uh, different gadgets uh, that have come up in this IoT space that is uh, uh, you can see BP measuring devices, you can see pulse oximeter devices which can directly uh, measure the uh, measure the value of a blood pressure or the pulse oximeter from a person and they can directly upload this value onto the server. Uh, apart from that there are few devices uh, like toothbrushes and spoons and forks and all the basic devices that we use, the basic things that we use in our home all these things are connected to the internet and they are forming uh, an application uh, under the IoT domain so that is how the companies are investing into this particular domain and there are currently so many products that are coming under the IoT uh, sector or the IoT domain so the next uh, thing that we are going to discuss is how this market is going to grow in terms of the number of devices and also in terms of the uh, financial market so this is uh, these are two different surveys that were done and uh, if you can see the growth is exponential in both of the cases and uh, uh, till 2025 or even after that this particular industry is uh, going to grow at a very very uh, rapid rate and uh, it just started like five to six years ago and now it uh, now already like there are a lot of products in the market and it is continuously growing and we can expect somewhere around 50 billion devices once we go till 2025 so that is what is the expectation uh, that is coming out of these uh, these statistics and uh, then once we have a look at the market forecast so even here the growth looks exponential and uh, uh, this particular uh, slide also lists out the area in the different domains that is uh, how the IoT is going to grow in the uh, military and aerospace domain in the, in the automotive domain, in the industrial domain, in the consumer markets so all these markets are seeing a rapid growth in the IoT, uh, uh, IoT devices now looking at uh, who can do this course so basically we have listed out a few things but uh, uh, majorly like this course can be beneficial to the students who are studying um, in their engineering and who have completed their engineering uh, in the in the bachelors or even in the masters so whoever are studying in the domains related to electronics electrical and the computer science so you will be able to learn a lot from this course because this is like a practical course and you will uh, learn a few programming languages and you will learn a lot about internet servers and how you can transfer the data from a particular uh, device onto the server uh, so all these things will be discussed in great detail and uh, currently like whoever are working on these IoT products they are uh, expected that you know these things uh, are known to the uh, to the people who join in their company so this course is going to be really helpful for you and uh, coming to the hobbies or the people who are not under these domains but you want to learn uh, in IoT and if you want to integrate your own applications with the IoT uh, then also you will be able to uh, attend this course. So just another note here is that um, uh, this course requires no prerequisites that is uh, you need not uh, have a background of programming or you need not uh, uh, know anything about the hardware. Uh, but we will be dealing everything from the basics so we have a couple of programming languages also included in this course and all those things will be started from the basics so even if you don't have any prior knowledge in the programming part or even on the uh, basics of electronics or how these sensors work so that is not going to uh, be much of a difference because we are going to cover everything from the beginning uh, so that way uh, anyone will be able to uh, start this course and and you'll be able to understand everything uh, whatever we are discussing uh, so just to discuss the course contents uh, that is uh, we have just listed out uh, the theory and practical sessions so if you can see the first chapter is going to be a theoretical session that is uh, in this chapter we are going to introduce just the terms that are used in IoT uh, what are the nodes and what are the gateways and wireless sensor networks and different topics related to that and uh, from the next chapter onwards basically it's going to be a mix of theory and a practical session so uh, we are going to uh, configure an Amazon AWS EC2 instance and uh, uh, you will be also doing it on your end and then we are going to start the Linux commands because uh, the operating system that we have uh, in the Amazon AWS is a Linux operating system so we will see some basic Linux commands 
and uh, then we'll see the python language that too from the basics even those who don't have much of a understanding on the python language currently you'll also uh, be able to do the course and you'll be able to learn uh, the python language because we are taking it from the basics and uh, then we'll be concentrating on some end-to-end -end applications and seeing how to tra upload the data onto the thingspeak and the firebase servers and also we'll discuss very important things that is uh, the http get and post methods and the mqtt protocol which is uh, very widely used in all these uh, iot products and uh, then we'll go over the node red basics and uh, how to integrate a particular node red model that you've created with your uh, uh, with your end-to-end -end application and uh, after discussing all these concepts we are also going to uh, present a couple of applications based on the iot domain and uh, using all these concepts and how to integrate an end-to-end -end product so that is what we are going to learn during this course so uh, i hope uh, you understand the course properly and uh, any doubts are there definitely you will be able to contact us and we'll try to solve this out thank you